The melting of glaciers is a significant environmental concern. Can you tell why glaciers are melting? Glaciers melt due to the gradual increase of the Earth's temperature. The melting of glaciers is an example of a change of state of matter from solid to liquid. Interconversion refers to the phenomenon of matter changing from one state to another and then returning to its initial state. Temperature plays an important role in carrying out the conversion of solids to liquids. Let us understand its effect with the help of an activity. This activity requires ice cubes, beaker, thermometer, a wire gauge, tripod stand and a Bunsen burner. Take a beaker with some ice cubes and place a thermometer in it. Now place the beaker on the tripod stand. Now heat the beaker by lighting the burner. Note the temperature when the ice starts melting and when it has completely melted. What do you observe? You will observe that there is no change in the temperature during this conversion of state. Do you know why? On increasing temperature, the particles of ice gain kinetic energy and start vibrating at their fixed positions with their greater speed. The energy supplied by heat weakens the forces of attraction present between the particles of ice. As a result, ice melts and its particles leave their fixed positions and start moving freely. Finally, the ice melts completely and gets converted to water. The temperature at which solid melts to become a liquid at atmospheric pressure is called its melting point. The melting point of ice is 273.15 Kelvin or 0 degrees Celsius. The change from solid to liquid is also known as fusion. An immediate question to ask is, where does the heat go? During melting, the heat energy is used up to weaken the forces of attraction between the particles of ice, due to which the temperature in the thermometer does not rise. This hidden heat that does not show any visible effect is called latent heat. But what is latent heat? Latent heat is the amount of heat required to change 1 kilogram of a solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure at its melting point. One can note that the latent heat of ice is 3.34 into 10 to the power of 5 joules per kilogram. Do you know the melting point of a solid is dependent on the strength of the forces of attraction between its particles? The higher the melting point, the higher the energy required to break the forces of attraction between the particles. So it can be concluded that solids can be transformed into liquids by changing the temperature. Let us summarize what we have learned so far.